Welcome to the first screencast of the Modelo workshop. My name is Berthold. I'm sitting here together with Daniel. Hello. Daniel, what we see here on the screen is a business application you created uh, with a uh, domain-specific language we built on our own. Could you please tell us something about this application itself? Well, this is just a Java application I'm visualizing a customer table here, an ID, a name field, a last name, an address. Of course, we can search, uh, and on the left-hand side, we see the hierarchical action tree, and there's a demo section and the show customer view. And well, that's it. Our goal for this screencast is just to rebuild this application. Okay, let's first start by deleting everything which is already there. We delete everything, and now we create a new head application. So head application is a concept of our domain-specific language. Head stands for a hierarchical uh, action tree, and we call the application demo application. Here on the second line, we see that um, we already have a connection to a database, um, and the database is already here. Um, okay, this is uh, the customers table with the ID name, last name, address. There is also some data present, and uh, what we can do now is just um, describe uh, the customer table and I'll copy paste the on the result um, the SQL result to the clipboard and next we can create the business object with our DSL by creating the business object by name customer the name of the object we copy paste the describe table comment here and okay will result in the default business object. Now what we see here is the already generated business object customer um, which shows the different fields which are present in the database. We set the key to true um, because the IDs should be a key and sequence name to customer sequence. This is a detail, detail because in the background we have an Oracle database and we don't need transaction control here, so we set this field to false. And still, we have one error left, which says that a repository should be created here. Uh, let's use an intention to create the repository. Yeah, we can create a default repository. The repository is kind of responsible uh, for the data handling with a database, handling business objects in relation to the database, and uh, the repository is also responsible to retrieve a list of data from uh, the database. So what we need is a function to kind of find all customers. It should return a list of customers, um, and we simply query the customer table there's a new keyboard called query customers table and what's interesting to note here is that we don't have to write any SQL code we just have to write query customers and the necessary SQL code is generated then afterwards so what's still missing is the table so the table was a multi-line it's an instance of the multi-line edit a concept and now let's instantiate this concept we call it customer view and it binds to uh, the customer object because it should show customers then we set a label which is just the heading of, of the table and then we have to set the different columns to be shown into the table which are basically also just the different fields of the customer business object or the, the fields in the database name, last name and address so next we have to uh, build the hierarchical action tree we need a demo section so just go on by branch node demos and uh, a node action um, customer show customers 
and we have to instantiate the customer view but just using a new variable declaration customer view customer view and simply get an instance from system I don't care uh, how we get the instance and uh, well we have to load the customer view kind of so we have to define uh, a list data loader uh, the list data loader expects a list of customers um, so we simply add well the find all customers returns a list of customers so we simply add uh, the I customer repo to our local fields call it repo and we can return a list of customers by calling find all customers Oh, that's it. So basically, um, this action here, um, what it does is it instantiates the table and then sets the list data loader. That is what happens when we click on the show customers action in the action tree. Okay, now let's generate Java code out of this and SQL code and see whether the application is already what we expect. Correct. Let's run it. Open the show customers view. There is a table, there is the data, everything seems to be alright. Scroll it a little bit. Cool. Thanks for watching the video. The first screencast of Modellwerkstatt with our business modeling domain specific language. And the second screencast will follow where we show how you can edit customer data. Thank you. Bye.